Hi, welcome to Loopy Mabel's Closet. My name is Jane. If you're new here, very welcome. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and you like to follow along what I make and my sewing projects. So in today's video, it's all about my very new series that I've created called Sew the Look. Really excited about doing this. I've had so much fun so far. And today's video is gonna be the first Sew the Look and I thought I would share what I've made with you so please stay tuned. So hi and welcome back. And before I start on today's vlog, um, Mabel is wearing the Sontu kimono by Named Patterns. Uh, absolutely love this tunic. I modified it and made it longer, but I think if I made it again, I would definitely go for the shorter version. Quickly show you the pattern. So you can see that's the original length and I'll definitely have a go at making that length when I do that again. But yeah, so that is the Sontu Kimono T by Named Patterns. So on to today's vlog. So the look, number one and it's what I'm wearing and obviously I'm going to pop lots of pictures up of me stood in the garden just to give you a, an idea of what it looks like and I'll stand up and show you as well. So this series is all about just um, outfits and uh, pictures of people on the street that I'm inspired by. I like the look of what they're wearing and then hopefully I can try and create my own version, not an exact copy, but my own version of that look. So I'll show you the Pinterest picture of the look that totally inspired me. Absolutely loved this look. I've got it on my phone just so I can refer to it. And I just loved it as soon as I saw it. Now, obviously it's probably more of an autumn winter outfit, but I live in England and it's freezing cold and we're in March so I'll, I'll probably get plenty of wear out of this outfit that I'm wearing and then obviously ideal for autumn and winter. Um, I just loved the black top and those bottle green trousers. I think they're linen that she's wearing and they're obviously a cropped wide leg trouser and she's got them on with some black heels and a white belt and I just thought it was so stylish and I just loved it. And I thought, right, I'm going to, I'd like to try and create it. So I had looked through all my patterns first of all, just to see if I had anything that I could use or adapt, but there was nothing really that came to mind. So luckily, um, Fibre Mood, which I subscribe to, had the Victoria blouse, which is what I'm wearing. And I'll pop a picture up of the Victoria blouse. And I thought that would, this would be perfect to recreate the blouse at that lovely lady is wearing in the picture obviously the sleeves my sleeves are slightly different but obviously I didn't want to create the exact look I'm trying to create the look but in my style you know my touch type of thing so before I go into with what I have made I'll show you some pictures up of me wearing the outfit in the garden just so you can see exactly how it compares to my Pinterest picture and I don't think I'm a million miles away I've added my own belt, my own black belt, and obviously I'm wearing flatter shoes. I don't have any heels, I can't wear heels, which I'm not quite sure whether they really go, but it's okay for the minute. Um, and I'll quickly stand up and show you me wearing it too. So obviously this is the blouse. I've just added my raggy brooch as I, as I do. And just stand up and you can see the trousers. And I just added my belt and pockets and I'm probably covered in cat hair because this is not the outfit to wear around the house but obviously I've got it on to show you today. Uh, black and green and four cats don't mix um, so obviously when I'm wearing this outfit I'll be putting it on and going out. I won't be putting it on and lounging around in the house in. That is for sure because I would end up covered in cat hair. So that's a little bit of a close up. So back to what I've chose. So I went for the Victoria blouse that was from Fibre Mood. And for the trousers, I went for the Joan trousers by the Friday Pattern Company. 
so I'll just get my journal. So both of the fabrics I got from Minerva and I just purchased them myself, they're not um, a Minerva blog uh, make or anything like that, they're just my purchases. Um, the fabric I chose for the this blouse is an embroidered linen viscose and I'll put all the details for ev all my fabrics in the box below and I'll also put my Pinterest board where you can see the pictures of my look and I'll share the pin board with you on there and so it was an embroidered this is an embroidered linen viscose and it's just got this gorgeous embroidery on it and I've got a scrap just see if I can try and show you which is covered in bits of fabric so I've got a scrap of fabric so I'll see if I can try and show you the embroidery detail on it so it runs on both sides the embroidery obviously and that's the right side and it's a viscose, a viscose linen blend so it doesn't crease too bad. The embroidery has gives it a quite a nice weight to it too. I got two meters of that and probably got about a quarter of a meter left so that was quite good. The Victoria pattern is from Fibre Mood like I said and last month there was a free download so you could download the pattern for free. They were doing I think they were doing a Victoria hack uh, month so you could download the pattern and see which way how many ways you could hack the pattern so I downloaded it but obviously I haven't I haven't hacked it at all I just followed it as the pattern um, described this is my pattern copy but I just printed it in black and white because I hate wasting ink um, so you could kind of see what it looks like and it's the first time I've made a fiber mood pattern uh, and the only thing you have to be obviously read the instructions and I'm glad I did because the instructions said you had to include the seam allowances on the pattern so I'm glad I read that otherwise normally I would have been just off cut out and then realized so I added all the seam allowances which was no hardship I used I've got one of these um, clover tracing wheel and you just um, lift the wheels out and you can move them to whatever your seam allowance is and then all you do is you put one wheel, the nearest wheel to you on the line and the other wheel, whatever you set your seam allowance, then does a little perforation on the pattern and that's your seam allowance. So it was no time at all and, and then I just cut it out. Absolutely love this little gadget. So I put the seam allowances in and the instruction, followed the instructions and they were absolutely spot on. I had no issues at all with sewing the pattern. Everything was really really straightforward so I've never actually made any of the patterns out of the magazine but now I've made this one I'm raring to go get my magazines back out and have a, have a go at uh, making some more of their patterns all in all a really brilliant make the pattern called for poppers on the sleeves but I went through my Nana's old button tin that I've got absolutely loads of old vintage buttons and I found these old-fashioned antique type of metal effect button for the sleeves and um, I put some buttonholes in and then of, on the back I added on the back it said put um, hook and eyes on but I made a button loop and added another added another button matching button on the back the only thing though with black working with black absolute nightmare because you, you can't see I really struggled seeing when I was doing the top stitching because I couldn't see where the the edge of the foot was lining up against the edge of, you know, when I was trying to top stitch, absolute nightmare. I really had to strain my eyes, put my glasses on and what have you. And when I was sat making the button loop last night watching the TV, I couldn't see what I was doing at all. I thought I was going through the loop and I wasn't going through the loop. Oh, it took me absolute ages to do it in black. Um, but it's all done and really, really pleased with it. Uh, I just love the embroidery on it and it's a lovely weight, it fits like a glove. I did size 42 and I just went off the measurements, body measurements and it fits like a glove. No issues, I didn't do any modifications to it uh, apart from I put buttonholes in the sleeves and a button loop at the back 
but everything else I followed to the to the letter really but I really really enjoyed making this blouse and I've obviously I've added my raggy brooch because it's got the bottle green in this raggy brooch this this is one uh, this is one of my favorite raggy brooches because it, it's got all the colors that complements things in my wardrobe this is a pair of old Sanderson curtains just goes with all sorts so I've just teamed it up because I thought it would pick out the bottle green in my trousers so so that is the Victoria blouse by Fiverr Mood and I think it's not a million miles away from the Pinterest picture so moving on to the bottoms, the Joan trousers, wow. I'll be making loads of these. These are things, people call them secret pyjamas. They are so comfy. I used, again, fabric from Minerva. I used an English wool blend Ponte Roma. I got two meters of it in the forest green. It's absolutely amazing. The This pattern, I'll show you my picture but I'll pop a picture up of the model wearing it in full colour because again I've printed off in black and white because I don't hate wasting ink and they really are the most comfortablest trousers I've made and they make up in no time if you've never made the Joan trousers oh you've got to get this pattern oh amazing and obviously you can use any it's designed for stretch fabrics and obviously I've used Ponte Roma it suggests anything with at least 20% stretch so Ponty, French Terry, double knits, interlock knits. Um, and it also says you want the fabric to be thick enough that it will be comfortable to wear as trousers. So you don't want it like too thin. Now the sizing, I went, the pattern's designed for somebody who's five foot five. So that's my height. So I didn't adjust the length of the leg at all because I wanted them cropped just like that model is wearing. So I didn't adjust the length, but you can shorten and lengthen the legs if you need to. And the only modification I did was on the waistband, you saw the button on. I made a buttonhole and added my button so you can actually use it as a buttonhole, but you don't need to to get them on and off. I just did it as a finishing touch. I learned from the last time when I did the Pietra pants, I went off the finished garment sizes because I didn't do that for the Pietra pants and they were a little bit too big and I had to take them in. So on the size guide, I went off large. So the, my waist is, well, the large came up 30, 32 and the hips 39 to 41. My waist is 29, 30 and my hips are 40. So I went down to the large finished size and it's got a negative ease. So the waist is 27, the hips were 40 and I just thought, well, I'll be all right with the hips. And I was a bit concerned 27 for the waist because I'm about 29, 30, but because it's stretch fabric, no problem, really comfy. The only niggle, and I would only say it's a tiny little niggle, is when getting them on and off, a little bit I have to wiggle just a little bit just to get them over the hip area um, and then once they're above the hips absolutely fine uh, but apart from that they're on they're so comfy they are like secret pajamas they're just like a glorified I would say a glorified legging stylish glorified legging oh, so comfy oh I'm gonna definitely be making some more of these and my daughter came around this morning and she said to me, no word of a lie, she said, have you been shopping without me? And I went, no, I haven't been shopping. She said, well, where'd you get this out? I said, I made this, what I was making yesterday, because she called in yesterday and I was making this, but she didn't take much notice of when I'm sewing. She was like, yeah. And she went, no, mum, that's amazing. Oh, she loved it. She said, oh, mum, can you make me some of those trousers? So she wants some now. Um, but, oh, they're so comfy in this Ponte Roma. I'd read somewhere that this fabric could be quite scratchy, itchy, because it's got a wool blend in it, but not on me, it's not. It's lovely, comfy, cosy, stretchy. Absolutely love them. So if you've never made the Joan Trousers by Friday Pattern Company, oh, you've got to try them. Really are amazing. Super, I made them in no time, less than two hours, because it's literally a legging with a, with a, with a waistband attached, really. It's super simple and overlocked it all and just overlocked it the hem overlocked the bottom and then just turned the hem up and then just top stitched them all in all I'm really pleased with my outfit although I know it may look a little bit of a wintry type of outfit but I'll get loads of wear out of it as I say because I'm in England so I'll probably get this worn quite a while 
and uh, I'm not uh, swayed by the seasons anyway, so I would just wear whatever keeps me warm or keeps me cool. So it doesn't really matter whether it's a summer outfit or a spring outfit or a winter outfit. If, if I like it and I'm not going to be too hot or too cold, I'll wear it. So that's my outlook on it. So really pleased. And I think the raggy brooch just brings out the green, the bottle green in the trousers. This is my take on the picture that I had on my pin board. And I just think it's the bee's knees, to be honest. I really love it. So I'm going to have to go and get changed now because I can't wear, I'm not going out for the rest of the day. So there's no way I can stay in this outfit in my house, even though I do hoover the cat hairs up. It's like a magnet, cat hair and black and dark colours. It's like, <sharp inhale> so I'm going to have to get changed when I've finished uh, recording this. But just wanted to share with you my first Saw The Look outfit. Let me know what you think in the box below because I really want you to give me your opinions. Let me know. I've got loads more of Saw The Looks and I'm going to do one every month. But I would love your feedback. Tell me what you think of my version. I've had so much fun researching, researching styles, researching what fabrics I would use, researching what patterns I would use. I am trying to use patterns that I've already got in my pattern stash uh, where possible and obviously fabrics that I've already got where possible but when I'm trying to recreate a saw the look it's not always possible so I'm gonna have to buy fabric I know it's, it's, I know it's, 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 it's such a chore but you know it's got to be done before I go I've got a confession to make please don't think anything worse of me and please don't unsubscribe but I have never until this outfit pre-washed any of my fabrics I know it's because I'm too impatient I get the fabric and I want to make something with it straight away I can't be bothered waiting for it to wash and dry and then iron it but I thought come on Jane there is a reason why the companies tell you to pre-wash your fabric because of possible shrinkage there is that reason now I've never had it yet everything I've made because I've never pre-washed a single item ever I've never had it sh shrinking afterwards, but I thought, right, if I'm going to do this so the look, let's go on 100% the right way. So I pre-washed these, both of these fabrics, got them dried before I even cut them out. But I tell you what though, when I was sewing with it and cutting it out, the lovely smell that came off the fabric conditioner, off the fabric, on the fabric was really nice. So that was a bonus. So I am now, I promise, going to pre-wash all my fabrics before I sew with them and that's my confession. So I hope you like my first Sew The Look outfit and I will be doing lots more, one a month and can't wait to do the next one. I've got lots more sewing coming your way as usual and uh, just really had a blast doing this. If you like this video please give me that lovely thumbs up and if you think of anybody else that would like to follow along my creations please go and share this video with them and ask them to subscribe too. Uh, until the next time though thank you so much for joining me on my new Saw The Look series and I shall see you very soon. Please take care and as always happy sewing. <laughs>